a very interesting picture that uh, associated with a problem that calls wake turbines. Now, when we talk about losses, the idea is to reduce it to the minimum. But because of wake turbine factor or aspect, the losses get higher. And I would like to share with you what is happening. Ideally, we would like to have a smaller, a smallest as possible area, and on that area generate maximum electrical energy from the wind. We want to uh, make the area, make the park as small as possible and get some amount, maximum amount of energy. That's the ideal. But because of the wake turbine, which is very, very clearly shown in the left picture, there are terrible lenses behind the front rotor. When we have a park, the front row create turbulences where the back row received it. So not only that the, the wind speed is lower, the wind speed behind the rotor is, is lower, smaller than the wind speed before it, there are wakes, there are turbines. We can see the picture on the right, high speed getting into the turbine, because the speed is lower and there are air turbulences, very clearly you can see the clouds, they are forming wakes. So the downstream wind turbines, the wind on the back, is about 20 to 30 percent of their power relative to the front. So right there we lose about 20 to 30 percent. This causes us to increase the distance between the front row and the row behind it and the row behind it, etc., etc. And in this particular park, which is an offshore, the distance between rows is 560 meters. That's front row to the one in the back. Also, one turbine to its neighbor, neighboring turbine. And the reason that we need to uh, keep long distance, 560 meters between two turbines, two adjacent turbines, not only because of the wake turbulences, but because of the crosstalk that we have between two blades rotating one toward each other of two neighboring turbines. The wake turbulences and the crosstalk between neighboring uh, ter uh, uh, turbines cause an increase of the total area of the park itself, which creates many, many problems. It's opposite to our ideal, S making the area small in and generating maximum amount of power. Here, because of this particular aspect, wake turbulences and crosstalk, we need to increase it. And this is a model of a wake. 100% of the wind coming from the left, we can see it on the top part of the picture. Part of it goes above the rotor itself, part of it goes be, uh, on, the, uh, on the bottom, and part of it really gets into the rotor. That's on the center part, the center part of the, of the um, um, presentation. Right there, behind both sides of the tips of the rotor, we have ter uh, turbulences. So V2, which is the velocity right after, right behind the rotor, not only that it's smaller than V1, the entering uh, wind speed, but it's also turbulent already. And this turbulent slow speed gets into the turbine which is in the back. So the further away we will place the turbine on the back, the less wake effect, wake turbulence effect we will have. 
And the rule of thumb says that we need to keep distance of five turbine diameters between the front row and the row which is it's in the back. Five turbine diameters, rotor diameters. And if we have a rotor diameter of about 250 meter, or let's say 200 meter rotor diameter, meaning the, the length of a blade will be 100 meter, in this particular example, we need to keep one kilometer away from one turbine in the front row to the one behind it. And one kilometer is a very long distance, especially if we talk about large parks. If we talk about a park which is 100 turbines and they are in a chessboard configuration, meaning X and Y coordinates, we might come out with a 10, 15 kilometers long uh, wind farm. That means longer cables. That means stepping up transformers. That means high cost of maintenance. That means variable wind coming from different direction to, vary to, uh, to any turbine which is in the matrix. That means redu reduction in the efficiency. So we lose energy right there because of the wake. And in the bottom part of the uh, slide, we can see a top level general configuration of placement of turbine. Please note that the turbines are not in an X, Y coordinate. They're not in a chessboard form. And please note that the turbine on the right, in the far right side, is really much further away from the four turbines on the left. Because the total wake turbulences generated uh, from the four turbines on the left really destroy the wind power, the wind energy almost completely. So we needed to put the turbine on the right far away, much more than five diameters distance. And in this graph, we see the relationship between the number of turbines in a park and the wakes in meters. And as a general uh, statement, the more turbines we have, the bigger distance we need between one uh, turbine and another. But wind is something which is almost random. It has its own direction for several minutes or for some time. We can predict it, we can measure it. But sometimes there are winds in different directions. And we need, we need to take the worst case analysis when we talk about the wakes. So we have wind scenario one and wind scenario two. And as we get, uh, we increase the number of, tur of turbines, we take the worst case, which is 700. That will be 700 meters in this particular example between one turbine and another. So we always take the worst case when we have different winds coming into one particular park. Otherwise, turbines in the back will be affected and their efficiency will be reduced. And if we look at, from a bird view at various layout solutions for different number of turbines in a given area for a given park, and we can see just a, just a kind of a, a suggestion of locations if we have a park with two turbines or if we have a park with three or four or five or six turbines, where to place them. And please note that none of them has a chess board uh, configuration, meaning X, Y coordinates, very, very fixed one because of the wake. That means the distance between the turbines will be 
a longer. That means, like we said, higher voltage drop, longer cables, higher maintenance cost, etc., 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 just because of the wake turbulences aspect.